So I realized the last run there was on the shorter side, but we needed to, to cut because the bad vibes were bad vibes. The bad news and everything, it just wasn't working out. So now we're here, we're reset. We're plump, mammals, ah, maybe not, but good news. Okay, good news. President Jimmy Carter turned 100 and didn't die before it happened. That's cool, I guess. I mean, that's good. Right? I, I don't know. Um, I'm seeing a lot of Halloween decorations, so that's that's fun. That's good. Uh, I guess I'm doing this in the back. Sure. That that's good. There's a guy, or a, no, I guess I don't know. If it's a guy. There's a house. That I, that I usually make an effort to go visit. Oh, the map there is just... That's just... You can't win from that, surely. Not with a 5-2 in the back. Alright, we're at 3 health. Alright, this is going to... Alright, we're just... You know what? It's just gonna stay bad. It's just... Everything's just gonna stay bad, I guess. That's fine, too. That's fine. That's what I wanted to happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... It's just, it's just gonna be bad. Sure. Um... He had a giant, one of them giant skeletons, or they had one of them giant skeletons. Then, after that, oh, snipe my thing. Then after that, they, the next year, they had a, it basically a giant skeleton, but picture it like it's made of, do this because you get extra buffs. Ooh. Do I care enough about two health to put the guinea fowl in this sell something to put the guinea fowl to get health? I don't think that. Two health is two health, but the level is a level. Hmm. You could also just brain cramp with the, the kangaroo as well. But I, it does seem like trumpets are pretty sick. But if I freeze both of these, I'm not really going to be buying a whole lot of anything. That is the, that is the issue. Anyway, it kind of looked like a, you know, a pumpkin stock? Where it's like like that brown hardened kind of uh, wood or uh, it's not wood but whatever you call that it's like a giant skeleton but it's like made of that or it's, it's to appear to look like it's made of that so it's wood like and then this year I saw it and now the giant skeleton has a giant skeleton dog that it has a leash for so that was that was an exciting update. All right, I am gonna do this. All right, now that that happened, I'm definitely gonna do it. I will do it like this. I will do it like this. And, and we still get a level next turn, amazing. So that's good news. I've also seen some other fun Halloween decorations, but you know, generally speaking, it's, it's been good. Snipe their dude in the back. Yeah, you know, these have been doing a lot of work. Those have been doing a lot of work. Oh, we win. Kangaroos. Maybe the secret? Uh, what else has been good? Oh, well, cucumber on you. Certainly good. Jumper, also probably good. Get rid of you. Level. I mean, this is just nice value. I mean, we could swap this out. It is a lot of attack. It's six damage. This makes sense. This makes sense as well. But it's, how do you fit it all in? You you would have to move this up front and then have a brain cramp back here. And then it makes it tough for the guinea fowl unless you have the guinea fowl up front. I guess ideally it would be that we, we level the groundhog and then sell the groundhog. That's probably what we're most hoping to do. As it stands, I guess I'm running it like this. Yeah, and you know what? Fine. Hit two of the two of. I mean, these three were probably the preferred ones, so that's. I'm down. I'm down for that. Halloween spirit is in full form. Mm, you're gonna have a decent amount of uh, things there too. Can this mana? Ooh, almost enough to snipe that guy. Eh, I think we're gonna be bigger.
bigger and better. Other good news. Other good news. Uh, oh, there was Nintendo dropped an F099 update, which includes Satellaview games. Or Satellaview tracks, so that's pretty sick. Most people don't even know what Satellaview is, so that's cool. Um, additionally, I would add that they added the Game Boy Advanced ones. Uh, GP Legend and then F-Zero Critical, which is a game that never left Japan. So that's always sick when when they finally bring something over. You know, make, you know gets all the people talking about, oh, is, this, is this to test the market to see if they should make a new F-Zero game kind of, kind of discussion? Which is always exciting. I really am kind of just looking for this groundhog. All right. Probably could have just sold it. Probably could have just sold it. And I'm not doing the jumping. I've decided. I've decided. I still think we can either draw or win around here. Hmm, the popcorn. See, that was what I said might happen with the popcorn thing. That it would override that one. Unfortunately, that, that did not work out as far as order of... They got a lot of extra hits for their kangaroo. So a little more attack up front. Could have done wonders. Is it early enough to chicken? It's probably not a good idea. There's no mushrooms. You probably just want a croc to keep the, the value of that going. The nice thing about... I guess you don't... You don't need the kangaroo to be in the last because, like, oh, you'll spawn a dog and it'll get one more thing. Let's do this first. Okay. That's obviously good. <laughs> that also makes me want to, um, perhaps not care as much about the kangaroo being in the back. Well, it kind of does. But I also want to make sure the nurse shark gets to nurse shark, I guess. So it's like, you almost like do it like this. You know what? Get rid of, I mean, six damage. This would also do six damage. Oh, triple the damage. All right, that's better. And then that way we can put a croc out here. It is certainly an order of operations. <laughs> I think like this. Either like that or like this. But if this gets sniped and then the trumpets all get used up, it's bad. So I'd rather have two units behind. Potentially take a shot. This needs to hit twice for this to work. I think that's pretty reasonable. 10 health. That doesn't seem crazy. I could also... Th I think I'm switching the sea lion out with the rock next turn. I think this all makes sense. Um... Oh well, yeah, another good news thing. We should get three hits here, I think. See, that's why... Okay, the burn in the back. Big Kanga. Oh, but the dog is still gonna spawn. So, yeah, okay. Both units get, did get sniped, so this didn't work, but okay. You're, you're changing. You're here. Friends behind plus one. We, we just want more health, I think, than anything else. I'm liking what we have. I'll say. I, I do like what we, Okay, I like that even more. Like that even more. Um, the Nintendo Museum added prototypes to the museum, which was apparently just in response, basically. We did not. You didn't get two hits, huh? That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. We only got one hit there, huh? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I think this makes sense. The, the lioness for the future definitely makes a lot of sense as well. No doubt about it. <sighs> really hoping to get something that would be good to buy there this on this to help speed that up makes sense i guess we're getting closer to level three 
You could consider this. I'm not sure. I guess you would get rid of the kangaroo, maybe? The problem is that the team doesn't have much attack yet, so we either have to move the sea lion up to get attack. I mean, here we get three hits, so that's good. They are going to have a big dog. Oh, well, it's not that big, turns out. 18. Alright, that worked out, I would say. Hmm. I, I, I don't think the Kita, actually. I think I would rather look for... Okay, I guess I'll take that. Ooh. <laughs> Extra scaling is hard to pass up, huh? Now... Either you get rid of the sea lion, or you get rid of the kangaroo just to have even more scaling. Like double scaling with sea lion and the bird. And this team works well because we just get a gazillion hits. This, this is kind of the team we want to see. Trade there by one HP. And then a big boy. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. But yeah, the, the Nintendo prototype thing, apparently they added like right before... It um, they didn't originally have it, and then I guess comments online or something convinced them that, oh, maybe that's something people want. Which is kind of crazy that they didn't think people would want that. I think... The kangaroo is... I guess... Hmm. It's tough. <laughs> More health is good for this. More attack would be nice for a turn or two to balance out the guinea fowl a little bit. Um... And then this is, this is the thing where we we sell it this turn, we lose a round that we would have won if we didn't. But if we do it now and then bring in this, we get extra scaling that might work. So I don't know. This this could certainly backfire. I um, don't think I'm level three in the sea lion. I'd rather use money for other things. Obviously, walrus is good. That's also good. I would rather not pancake if we could get a chocolate instead, which we did not. I also, yeah, okay. That's interesting. We would have to buy, we would not actually have the money. We'd be one gold off every turn from having double paradise bird, which would be pretty sick, but I guess it's not happening. <laughs> What would be another unit to give me... I don't even know. If, if we had... Is there a perk that gives you one gold every turn? Ooh. This is the type of team where I don't think we would have won anyway. Well, I mean, we're gonna shoot somebody, but... That's just one really big guy. That's just one really big guy up there. That's That happens sometimes. We have one health now. Hmm. <clears throat> so... I think that's pretty decent this is pretty decent not having a level on either of these does suck i will say not getting a level on either of those is pretty miserable so this is gonna get to 25 so that will give it one more trumpet but yeah these not being leveled is probably spelling part of our disaster Spawn teams will do well against. Big guy up front teams, we will not. Ah, big guy up front team, we lose. We don't even get two hits here. That is such a bummer, man. <laughs> that is such a bummer. I think that was a pretty good team, but yeah, levels on, levels on at least one of those other fellows would have done us a lot of good. Would have done us a lot of good. Ooh. I just saw bagels and I immediately got hungry and <laughs> like, oh, I want a bagel. <laughs> bagels are so good. Hmm. Oh. Seems like we maybe lose this one, huh? Apparently I can't win this week. This feels like it was forever ago and in some sense it was. But I suppose I haven't talked to the, the 
Toronto Pit folk since the vice president debate. I feel like people have already gotten past that, which is true to some extent, but I feel like I can't fuse either of these if we want to actually win a round. So we just have to hope to get another groundhog there. Okay. I do think this is our best chance of winning. I think we win just automatically because of this. Oh no, we don't. Never mind. Okay, the math worked out that we still lose. I think if the Tamarin sniped differently, it maybe could have been a draw? But it might have still been a loss. But yeah, that was terrible, so that's good. Everything's just everything's just going terrible for me, apparently. Hmm, yes. Well? What else happened this week? Uh, the, the vice president thing is like so far behind us that I don't even feel like it's worth <laughs> talking about it just it was what it was i watched it as it happened so if that matters to anyone then sure i could level this to get squid um i mean there's both good tier threes and good tier fours but there's also bad tier th th threes and tier fours I've just, I don't know, I've never been... I've never had faith in the squid, I guess. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, we would have had a level squid, you say? Ah, geez, I spent all my money on nothing, you say? Alright. So maybe there were some mistakes made. Maybe there were some mistakes made. Maybe there's a little bit of regret. Oh, and the snipes, too. And the popcorn, too. We lose. Yep. If it was a 2-2, we actually, I think, could have drawn. But, uh, turns out it was not a 2-2. Turns out it was not a 2-2. Alright, we, we have to try this thing again. We have to try this again. I mean, this is guaranteed too, I guess, so. Alright, so perhaps the lesson is that we just keep feeding the Nurse Shark until tier 4s? Or a level shows up to get a sea lion? Man, those snipes really did not work out, huh? But, the kangaroo is the savior. Kangaroo is the savior. I mean, that, that does do a lot more damage. Which is what I said last time, and then it didn't really lead to anything, but... <clears throat> I'm just gonna ignore these. Corn cob doesn't count as a perk. It's a food, right? I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. I am wearing the headset today, though. Hmm. Math does not work out the best there. Uh, draw? Win! It happened too fast. This is where I would like to roll to get a whale shark, but at the same time, I do see that these are both here. Hmm. Okay. That's also tough to pass up. I knew I do know it was close to the level. We are still married to this for a little bit. Okay. Those can just stay there. Those can stay there. We can put the kangaroo Oh, that's that's an interesting looking team there. Ah, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> 
Hmm, so those Tamarin snipes fighting against me there, huh? Okay, that's big. Definitely have to do that now. And then... Immediately both of those. That would also be nice for that, but have to wait on that. I think next turn we get rid of this. And just go to full, full nurse sharking. Whale sharking, sorry. I don't know why I still own it. You would think in the weekly that has both of those sharks that I would actually do it right. That's an interesting. Why is your jumper in the in the front? Something happened there. All right. I mean, is that or just get rid of the kangaroo? But it is also almost low. Maybe you just get rid of the kangaroo and you just put this in. I mean, the melon doesn't actually work with this in terms of giving it a melon, but it does in terms of giving it stats. I think you served your purpose, okay? We know we want to buy this. You could do this to do this, but if we got... I don't know what we would get, but something. Suppose you could do this with Sea Lion if you have to. Nothing bought there. Maybe you just get an extra snipe in there. You could turtle to again also give it stats. That's certainly a thing. And then you could do this with Kangaroo. I think Kangaroo is I'm basically just holding to try to level it and then get rid of it. I think that's where I'm at. Alternatively, should just have fed the Nurse Shark a bunch of perks this turn. But I think because I was getting rid of two slots, that was sort of I was on that track. Okay, early Lioness. I don't know how you did that, actually. I guess you must have just leveled this turn or something, but... How did... You got a one... You got a... How does he got... How did that kangaroo have one health? How did they do that? Oh, have they begun even at the... Uh, yeah, they begin at this thing? Five attack, two health? Over and over? That's a bold strategy. And a weekly with crocs and stuff. That's a bold strategy. Obviously, it's a little awkward because you do want to get levels and things, but we did see how good having just one big guy is when I lost to a bunch of them. <laughs> like, two, my the last two rounds in a row or whatever were just a bunch of losses to uh, big whale sharks. This is worth it. This is worth buying. That's worth buying. Um, we're not level three on anything. Y'all is cool and all. I think we're just sticking with this for now. I'm not married to this kangaroo. It is just kind of here because we know the nurse shark, whale shark, is going to do at least a couple of hits. Okay, they have a. Uh, I sniped some pretty important units there. No doubt about that. Level two croc paying paying dividends. Like those dividends of the biotech company that released a bunch of chlorine in... You get the idea. You get the idea. <laughs> I guess this technically will just work twice. I think it's time for you to... Well, snake behind that's also pretty sick, but... I think I'm just gonna scumbag scale now at this point, because I also haven't really won this week. So there is that. Does this work? That would, I'm pretty sure that would do things we don't want to happen. An elephant seal, as nice as it is, it is just better than the, the whale shark. I think I'm going to stick with what we have here, and then do that. And then this will just give more stats, I guess. Yeah, this could well this is a pretty good team against me in terms of wow the melon armor sniped <laughs> that before the nurse shark the whale shark ate it that's crazy i've never seen that before the melon armor got sniped before the whale shark ate it i didn't even know that could happen <laughs> that's crazy
Yeah, I did not know that could happen. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm just kind of left speechless a little bit. I didn't know that could do that. It's a lot of melons. There's a lot of melons. I do a lot of damage through melon. Uh, one big guy. One big guy works, and the croc is also very good against these teams that are setting things up in the back. I'm sorry, Wheel. I'm sorry, but I gotta give it to this guy. I gotta give it to that. Because I just knew. I knew it would happen. What can I say? I just knew it would happen. I don't even think it really makes sense to give you a thing, so I'm gonna give you a thing. We could... We could actually get rid of this sea lion, potentially. I mean, you don't have to. No one armors. <laughs> this interaction is so weird. That is such a strange interaction. No, but that sea lion health was part of why our croc beat their croc, so that's pretty sweet. Am I blind? Yeah, I've never even level 3 it. Alright, this is this is unlikely to happen this turn, but... You never know. You never know. We could lose this round. It could happen. The... The crane? Or what, is this a crane or is, it's a crane, right? Yeah, the crane is almost acting like a advanced. And look at this, we got another one of these interactions. <laughs> it's almost like an advanced version of um, the Silk Moth, in a way. I mean, it gives attack stats too, but person gets hit, gives it melon, which then gives him stats. All right, now I'm feeling a little bit better about myself. I'm gonna do one more because the the first session was on the shorter side, but. And it's a good start. And then you gotta put this back there. Overpriced babies? I don't know. Cabbage Patch Kids or something? Or just, you know, dolls? I think we just win this one easy. Yes. What else happened? There was some, there was some funny uh, article I remember seeing. I don't remember what it was, though. I could... Nah, I'm not gonna freeze. I'll just... Yeah, yeah. Because it's tier 2s and stuff, which includes kangaroos, so... There's something about New York. It was... That... Somehow we lost. <laughs> it was that... Apparently there's some program that they're gonna do to... Um make okay sure friend gains part two next turn uh something about actually do this in case of snipes they're going to give birth control to rats or something to try to help deal with all the rats this map does not work out too well yeah, well, it does actually. Never mind, I'm a liar. And so the the reason I remember it is because there was a quote tweet or whatever of this thing. Oh, okay. There was a quote tweet of this, which was uh, said something like, "Oh, the rats have more rights than women in the South" or something. It was funny. It was a little comical. Also, you know, some a little depressing, but oh. Do I want to take this level now? Part of me was like, it's really effective to take it now. Because it'll snipe for a, like double the damage. And we do have at least a... Yeah, okay. Um, ooh, that's pretty good too. I'll, I'll hold on to that. I'll undo that, undo that. Roll. If it was a groundhog, it would have been pretty sick. 
We don't have the the best things to work with the tatsel worm or whatever, but it certainly can. This is a good, pretty good trade there, given the circumstances. If we didn't level, we would have lost that. By the way, putting that out there. Hmm. That I think makes sense. Friend ahead faints. Deal two damage to first double if it was level three. Well, they won't be level three. This in the back makes sense. This is probably a little bit better right now. This is maybe for the future. Although at the same time, you could argue you can get a lot of trumpets without needing those things. But also, I kind of want to do the trumpet thing. I would. What would be best is to level the groundhog and then do this so a little greedy perhaps also i think keeping the five six beetle guy in the back is pretty good too hmm we get two hits of that you are gonna you are going to do whatever you're gonna do with the weakness but the weakness is not really our thing but unfortunately our dog <clears throat> didn't work so well Without spawners, this does seem perhaps not not quite good. Five six up front is kind of good. Probably what we should have considered doing. I think I just gotta get rid of it. It's God, it sucks. <laughs> It's going to do the thing where as soon as I sell it, we get the level for it. You know that's what's going to happen. You know that's what's going to happen. You. Fuck you. <laughs> Can he foul or another Tatzel or a... Ah. I've greeted too hard. Okay. Oh, seven is perfectly the wrong number. Oh? Never mind. Well, I mean, it was, but besides that thing at the end, it was looking good. Okay. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell into here. Get the... Get the hell in here? Okay. I mean, that's a pretty big upgrade. Ah. <laughs> Mmm. 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 Alright. I'm not going to greed this time. I greeted last time. Don't greed this time. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Alright. This, this has some legs. This has some legs to work despite that last round. Ooh, the croc. Okay, the croc's just gonna shoot the sea lion. That doesn't... Oh, it does kind of matter, actually. It's gonna... We're not gonna have the dog. So it's actually quite bad. I mean, but we got a big dog. Oh, but the tassel worm. Oh, we do we draw anyway. <gasps> <laughs> I would say this is the issue with this team. We're probably looking to swap out the tamarin. You know what? Do it like this. That way, if we don't get enough of the trumpets and things, that we like we'll only miss out on this shot instead of this shot i think it makes sense i think what i'm saying makes sense a little bit looking weird because you want the guinea fowl to have a lot of health but that 11 attack i think will help a lot to get through a couple of people interesting we would have died anyway there 18 damage to that guy at the back, huh? All right. We're we're doing something. Tier fives, huh? Nyala's more nurse sharks would work. This toy is only when they're ever all gone or. Yeah, okay. 
I was trying to see if that would work somehow with... I don't think it's banners. It, it's nice to have, but... Yeah, alright, fine. Probably at the end... In this spot. Could put that behind the guinea fowl. That makes some amount of sense. It is risky because the nurse shark thing now, but... We'll have to do that next turn, but I think there is some value in this. There's also the idea of if we get a Highland Cow just to get rid of the Vikita, potentially, because then you can also have that before the Nurse Shark. You don't have to worry about that as much. This looks pretty good. I mean, even though the, the Nurse Shark's gonna not going to Nurse Shark, that it's just a big enough dog. All right, yes. That's interesting. That is interesting. I do think I'm getting rid of this, sadly. Both of these are interesting choices. Kind of feel like where we are, though, the Bird of Paradise is makes more sense, even though it is, you know, a little more boring, I guess you could say. <laughs> I suppose you could argue. Mm, sure. Interest in doing that, but I think I'd, I just wanted to get a little more health first before that happens. I'm not married to the crane by any means either, but... Nyala could be interesting. I think at this point I'm looking for the Highland Cow, pretty much. Which I know I can't roll that, but... That or leveling the Nurse Shark or the Crane kind of ideas. Now this team definitely still gets blown up by a team with a big ner uh, Whale Shark up front. For sure. Which is not what happened. So that's cool. The Death Touch went to the Gibbon. But we still win because we snipe for 18. Alright. Very good. We didn't really even use that toy, I think. This could be a team where you actually could use a Wildebeest because you have some scaling with it. The concern, the, the problem is that you either have to take out the Nurse Shark or... Take out the Crane. But it's a li but you're only getting Trumpets from the Guinea Fowl is the thing. So you would almost need to take out the crane for a, a, um, what do you call it? The Highland Cow, and then also bring in the Wildebeest for these two. I mean, I've already gotten this achievement, so there's something to be said about that. There's something to be said about it, although it is definitely in the immediate better than this is, because... We well, we almost always have six, and then the the nurse shark was sniping for eighteen, which kills pretty much anything except for a whale shark. So that is something to keep in mind. Hmm, it's kind of interesting. We do maybe have enough scaling that this is worth it. It does. It is a little awkward because. <clears throat> Well, I mean, just look at it, but I think I also would rather, I, I was considering, oh, should I look for a cucumber to put on this? But I think the idea is that it's getting multiple coconuts, so have it help stat the guinea fowl to maybe try and trade with a big guy up front. Okay, all right, well, I mean, honestly, that crane didn't do so bad, all things considered. All things considered, it did not do so bad. <laughs> I do kind of think you, you, you do sort of want this to happen. Get more attack with all of that happening. It does feel like you almost don't need the crane here. Or I guess you could almost just do it here. Certainly an interesting choice. Probably doesn't matter on that, right? 
I guess maybe in the long run so that it lives a uh, one oh, you actually can't do that because then the dog will spawn if it gets sniped by a croc yeesh I'm, I'm just so worried about this getting sniped by a croc that's part of my I, you know what maybe I need to do this for a turn or two I think that might be the case. That way this can take a croc hit. It does mean that these things aren't getting attack, but I think I think it's worth it for the time being. I can't buy that. <laughs> I can't buy that. It's a lot of interesting decisions to be making. A lot of interesting trying to play around if people have crocs. Ah, there's the croc. It would have screwed us. It would have screwed us there. I mean, that that paid off to some amount. Oh, one HP! You son of a bitch! <laughs> you son of a gun. That That is the awkward part of the guinea fowl thing, as far as it doesn't get the hurt trigger until it actually gets hurt, but... That's what we have. Yeah, so there's the Highland Cow that I was saying, maybe with the crane. Although, this only works one time until it gets leveled anyway, so it hasn't actually really mattered much. It hasn't particularly mattered much yet. We still have a long way to go. That's the other thing here. I'm gonna keep the Sea Lion in the back for some amount of turns here, while the Paradise Bird tries to scale up. Well, it's gonna be enough. It's gonna be enough. For now. I think you have to do this one first. Then I think you have to do... You do this. Then... The, the argument definitely... Eh, maybe you should have just chocolated the Wildebeest and then level him the next turn. That definitely would be a... I was thinking, you know, there is a chance that another Wildebeest spawns from a level. So that's why I did it that way. Okay. Certainly a little unfortunate, but... We do have a lot of trumpets. I think we win? Yes. You win. And the bird needs two more health before it reaches the point of... Not, not quite. Not another wildebeest. Not a chocolate. I think you just do this. Well, this will be 16, so it would live a double sniped... Basically, I kind of want to give this more attack. Although, 15 attack is not bad. Not bad. Maybe, maybe one more turn of this. I guess the other thing is that since it only has one um, level, that the health matters more still right now for the Wildebeest. Okay. That kangaroo's gonna get big. You got double jumps. Double jumps. I have multiple melon armors, though, which has been pretty effective, I would say. Wow, we actually smoked them. Okay. Okay. Pretty much just looking for levels here. I'm not gonna buy salads. This is some unfortunate... Unfortunate things happening. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. <laughs> that was pretty brutal. <sighs> Alright. Sure. I assume I've never level 3 craned achievement, yeah. I mean, I've, I've got it to level 3, but not with 10 wins. We have 2 health to spare, we got absolutely nothing this turn. I think we can put the Wildebeest in the back. Oh, not with a Nurse Shark. Um, interesting. Okay, I mean, Melon Armors, I think we're looking good, great. I think we're looking great. The Crane has actually paid off a ton. Even though it doesn't necessarily synergize with, with trumpeting in this in that way. 
I mean, you know what we're looking for. It's just one thing. There's not really any food to be buying anyway. I'm not even gonna bother with the sea lion. I'm just... I, I think I will do this for a little more attack, actually, but... Now, not, now I will do this, because... Even if there's snipes of... This with a croc and it dies... I mean, unless they have, like, double croc or something. Like, uh, the wildebeest is not gonna die. And then that way we can get more attack on the wildebeest a little bit here. To then, you know, get that going. Okay, crane in the back. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely makes a big difference. I don't think it's gonna make enough of a difference. Oh, that's pr Oh, because we did damage through that. Very interesting. Our damage through their melon armor actually made it worse for us there. That's kind of fun. I do think it's probably time for you to get this. Please just let me get a level Wildebeest, though. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Finally. And now I, now I definitely want to make sure. Even though I was talking about how we don't want to... We want some attack stats on this. We really want to make sure that this gets to go twice. As opposed to, uh... Having the dog spawn and the coconut not happening at all. Would be very bad. Alright. Let's see. The Golden Babies versus the Iconic Stickers. That's a lot of stats. We're probably gonna lose this one. Ah, multiple melon armor? I mean, we just got lioness basically. That is such a bummer. But we got one more chance. But yeah, that's just... We're in mega late rounds. People that have lioness been going will be lionessing. That's pretty much what it comes down to. That doesn't even matter. That's pretty much all it comes down to here. <sighs> Level 3. Ah, because it's going up there. I was wondering, how are they getting... Ah, we got our own set, though. I think we win. Oh, yes. Cool. That was my first time really doing any Wildebeest thing, so I feel pretty good about that. Uh, obviously, it would have been nice to get an achievement on one of these bad boys, but... Nice. I do wonder, obviously, if... Uh... I, I I feel like this, the health on the sea lion made difference. For sure. But, you know, if I had a nurse shark instead or something, or Highland Cow, would it still have worked? I don't know. It's one of those you can't really know for sure. But, okay, started out pretty rough. <laughs> one win, three win, six win, ten, ten. All right, I'm feeling a lot better. Feeling a lot better. I would, I would say kangaroo early to stick around and, and try not to lose all your health is paramount to your success this week. That said, I'll probably do a Monday session. Maybe, well, we'll see, we'll see. 